That's a three five they want to spend. Over they, ten, over eight or ten years, depending well, on whether. Five, but still, yeah. I'm just saying that we should be looking at everything, and we're not. And it, we don't have the need to rush into this and get it done within one week because there's some deadline we're meeting, or someone's going to fall through the cracks. that people are basically having an opportunity to go back to work. We have 11 million jobs that we haven't filled. Eight million people still unemployed. Something's not matching up there. There's a lot of assumptions that you're not supportive of this. Some say because of West Virginia's reliance on coal. Sure. How much of that is true? Well, let me tell you, say, let's look at the facts. And I've always said this, Chuck, you're entitled to your opinion. You're just not entitled to create your own facts to support your opinion. But in their disdain for pluralism, in their disregard for human life, in their determination to defile national symbols. They are children of the same foul spirit. That was a very determined message to give on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. He did not have to say any of those things to check the box of what was expected from him. Were you surprised? And what do you think the motivation was? Well, I think he, he, his motivation is that he wants what's best for the country. Um, in the last few weeks, notably, you know, Brett Stevens in The Times saying that his presidency is a failure. We've seen people writing about how Delta has defeated Biden. Delta um, uh, it caused me to, to, to write this piece um, that this is an absurd claim. Um, Biden yeah. um, is, uh, is, is doing a reasonably good job, a pretty good job 